Black women want to be in relationships with people that can control and manipulate. Okay, and especially you can only do that with a weak man. What's going on? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. You know the big time celebrity bodyguard and the true speaker. The guy that makes everybody mad, especially the women in our community, because they don't like to hear the truth. It's okay to talk about the men, but you can't call out the women, not on this channel. Now, we live in this society whereas you have black women, it's sad, but these generational curses have been passed down in the black community. A lot of these black girls grew up with loud mouth, violent, ignorant, masculine hoes as mothers. Yes, loud mouth, violent, ignorant, masculine hoes as mothers. This is what they grow up seeing. And they think that this behavior, which we always do in the black community, we normalize the most dysfunctional behavior. Now we have a generation full of sexy reds and Megan the Stallions who brag about selling cootie cat and sleeping with your baby daddy. And uh, I think it's really sad. I think it's just really sad the direction of where the community is going, especially when it comes to the women. Now, now these low life guys, for some reason, black women love having babies by them. You know, the street thug, the loser, the bum, the mama's boy, the simp, the punk, the weak man. Because black women usually want to be in relationships with, with people they can control and manipulate. I'm gonna say it again. Black women want to be in relationships with people they can control and manipulate. Okay, especially you can only do that with a weak man. This is why you see other cultures of women with alpha males. And, you know, um, th they understand that the man is the head of the house. And they understand, they follow him. And they don't try to dominate and control him. This is why other cultures of women are flourishing and prospering in their communities, in their families, in their businesses, and everything else. They're winning in relationships. For some reason, black women were raised to be against black men. And I think it's sad. They never seen a loving household. They never seen a strong father figure. They never seen a man love a woman. They never seen a loving relationship between a man and a woman. All they know is dysfunction and chaos. That's all they know. So they adapt those same traits um, from their mothers and from these generational curses. Their mothers was running men in and out of the house or their mothers always said, you know, black men are no good. Black men ain't nothing. Black men ain't this. Black men ain't that. And these are the men that they go for. They become conditioned and brainwashed into believing this. So if black men ain't no good and ain't nothing, I might as well go ahead and get me a no good nothing black man and make excuses for my life. It's sad they have babies by all the losers and bums and then they want high quality men to take care of these bastard children. Mind blowing. These women, they sleep with all the, the, the so-called, th I call them sissy thugs. He dudes the sissies nowadays. The sissy thug, the image of a thug, a street dude. They have their babies, okay? And then they turn around and tell me, I deserve a high quality man to take care of. You need to be a stepfather. Black men need to be stepdaddies. No, they do not need to be stepdaddies. Y'all need to keep your damn legs closed. This is what y'all need to do. Keep your damn legs closed. Stop sleeping with so many men. Stop having all these baby daddies. Find the right type of man to build a life and a family with. I'm going to say it again. No, black men don't need to be stepdaddies. Now, you, now, I know some men, they sign up to be stepfathers. That's on them. That's their choice. But you don't see nobody, a man, standing up for no be stepfathers to three, four, three, four different kids. He ain't having it. Maybe one and sometimes two, but, but, but that's like the most. Um, and that's very rare, too, for a man to sign up for that because um, he has to finance these kids. And also he wants his own children. OK, but, um, you know, uh, uh, these, these these females out here, man, it's just sad that they have no more. They have no morals. They have no self-respect. And they expect black men to put up with this stuff, okay? And this is why high quality men run from y'all and all the low quality, low value men in the black community having all the babies. If you notice, the 13 or 14% of the losers and bums are having the babies. Now, when a man is, uh, how can I put it, has his life together, he's doing the right thing. He may have got up off the streets. He's got a degree. He's educating himself. Black women say he's lame. He's corny. He's a cornball. See, black women don't, don't want those men until they need the finances. See, the, the guys that, that's, that's going to college, the guys that, that's getting up off the streets, getting their life together, he becomes corny now because they want the street thug, the street bum, and they want to have sex with all the losers and bums. Now, then after they have all the kids and they need money and they need financial assistance, then they want the high quality men to come, come in 
and finance their life. See, this is the society we live in. And then they try to tell us that black men are supposed to do this. No, they're not. They don't tell black women, you build a life, build a family with the right type of man. Stop sleeping around with all these men. Stop having all these children. Stop having all these babies. Stop bringing all these kids into the world when it's not a family structure. They bring children into dysfunction. They bring children into an environment that's unhealthy. Um, this is why we see all this unhealthy, toxic behavior in our community. This is why we see all this stuff going on. This is why we don't see the, the loving relationship that God ordained between a man and a woman to build a family, build a life, build a legacy, build wealth to prosper. We don't see that in the black community. We see that in other cultures. And I think it's really sad, man. It's really sad. But they love having babies by bums, losers, and no good men. We're supposed to feel sorry for them. Then they tell high-quality men, you need to take care of me and my kids. Which is mind blowing. I mean, come on, man. Ain't nobody signing up for that. But you see the alpha males, you see the alpha black men. They usually be with biracial women or women of other cultures. Because black women, they want to be the man in a relationship. They want to control and they want to dominate you. You know, they want to take your manhood from you. They want to be the man in a relationship. And majority of black women, they just out of order. They out of line. Um, you know, they just, and they wonder why their life is um, the way it is. You want to live a life, you out of order, you out of line. And you think that your life is going to be in order, which is mind-blowing. I mean, I don't get that. Your life, you you don't want to submit to the will of God. You don't want to uh, surrender to God. But you expect everything in your life to line up and be good. But you want to do things your way. See what I'm saying? It's not our way, it's his way. But in the black community, this is what black women are doing. It's their way. And look where their way is getting. Look, look where they're headed. Look at what's going on with this. Look at the culture of black women. Look at the music. It's disgusting. The most disgusting music on earth is by black women. The most disgusting lifestyles they brag about are black women. And then they tell black men, we're supposed to sign up for this disgusting life that you live. Take care of you and, you, and deal with your foul behavior or your whole behavior, your promiscuous behavior. And take care of these bastard kids you have by Pookie and Ray Ray. Ain't gonna happen. I'm your boy Zillionaire. Put your thoughts in the comments. I'm out of here.